we're going to take you inside Souls Country Store. So since 1972, uh, we're going to go inside and talk to them and find out a little history about the place. Here's the front of the store. And it is uh, right on the road, as you can tell. It's got some old gas pumps, still operational. It's a pretty cool spot. Out in the middle of nowhere, for sure. <laughs> what do you got, Bob? A woolly worm. Careful, so I get some of these. Look, they like that. They like sea money. I'm gonna walk you guys through the store and show you what they have. Hi, guys. Shuggy's got her little cart. Like a little restaurant and deli area. This is you can set and eat. And they also have a spot outside that you can set out and eat. Some old stuff up on top. Here's our little deli section. You can come in and uh, tell them what you want and they'll fix you right up. We have uh, this gentleman right here just came in for some lunch and what's your name? My name's Jared Hurt and I just got a ham and cheese loaf, two ham and cheese loaf sandwiches and it's probably the best in town. Are the best in town? I'm going to have to try one. But yeah, you can come on in and tell them what you want. And they still make your sandwiches. They still make your sandwiches for you right here. Which is pretty cool. Hi everybody, I got exclusive cream soda. Shuggy likes her cream soda. This is all their special drinks that you can get. 4.30 and 30. I haven't decided which one I'm going to try again. We tried the, uh, the, IBC. the IBC. We tried that in Rugby, Tennessee. Does anybody want any warm? We're going to hey, continue in. Uh... Sorry. Oh, you're good. All the old items up on the shelf. items. They have t-shirts that you can buy. But they have like old items all around the store, which I always find interesting. Sets out in the middle of nowhere. Just saying. We love coming to old places like this. We'll have her uh, give us the uh, history of the place. We can come in, they have normal stuff you see in the stores.
always like looking at the old stuff they put up on the shelves. newspaper and they wrote up a little article some years ago in 2002 about the history of the store um, so it was probably they say probably a store in the late 1800s um, it was called the CB Greenwell store over time it's, it was passed down uh, it was bought then by Jimmy Barr and then Marvin and Linda Stoll bought it in 72 mm -hmm. and then their daughter took it over um, and then we, my husband and I just bought it in um, 2021, but um, this is C.B. Greenwell and his wife. How are you? Doing? How are you? Um, and then at some point it was also the post office. That's what I was going to ask yeah. you about. Yeah, and it was the Andyville post office. Mm -hmm. And so they don't really, um, the mailing address is no longer Andyville when they took the post office away. The post office was just this front part here and then they moved it across the street. Then when they did away with that, it just turned into incorporated to Painville. So um, I love that. And in yeah, this picture, you can actually see the, that these are the original doors. Um, mm -hmm. And so the Marvin and Linda, they actually built onto the back of the store, everything that's concrete, they, put, they built on. And then the hardwood is the original store. It does have a basement and it has an upstairs. I'll be done. Um, they, the steps are gone now, but mm -hmm. we hope to one day restore the upstairs. My husband's been up there, but I'm not brave enough. Not brave enough. <laughs> so we have lunch here. Um, we have little parties here sometimes. Um, like it's a functioning grocery store. Mm -hmm. um, when like Coke and um, the beer companies come out with a new drink, we put it on the shelf in the back there. So hopefully one day there'll be the old drinks, you know? All right, yeah. that's cool. We do the Christmas candy, like old school Christmas candy. Mm -hmm. um, we do in-house baked goods because that's not a thing that people do anymore. Uh, you know, people don't cook, people don't bake cookies from mm -hmm. scratch. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we sell a lot. Um, Kathy back there, she, she bakes a lot. Um, and then like I said, Christmas candy, we sell a ton of Christmas candy. Um, we do like fruit baskets. We have a friend that sells live Christmas trees around Christmas time. Mm -hmm. And we have a free Santa that comes out for the kids. Uh, oh, everybody that's can awesome. just come see Santa, get their, you know, do their picture on their phone. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool community, the community is great. We have the same group of people sit on the front porch every morning with their coffee. Mm -hmm. You know, they use their coffee cups, uh, the real coffee cups there, you know, oh, yeah. instead of the paper. Um, they get they get their same breakfast every morning, um, same people for lunch. We just love it. Um, I smoke out there on the smoker. We mm -hmm. smoke um, pork and brisket, uh, ribeye sandwiches, stuff like that. And so they really enjoy that. Now, is that on? only weekends right yeah okay that's actually what I was... this friday will be our last time doing it for the cold season okay um and then we start back up in about may all right yeah yeah we sell t-shirts like the where the hell's andyville t-shirts yeah i've seen those they're pretty um, cool people will take those all over wherever they go you know and take pictures of you know the back of the shirt in different places all over the world and send it to the facebook page and we post it oh cool people come out bring their old cars park out front and we take pictures which is older the car or the store so that's a fun yeah. that's a fun game and uh bicyclists we get a lot of bicyclists so it's surprising all the way out here but oh, yeah. they come from everywhere just stop in grab a sandwich he's worked here for over 43 years oh wow and so he knows a lot of the history of it um but yeah um we have some of the original, like back in the back, we have um, a dolly, one of the original dollies that was here whenever they loaded feed. Like oh, for yeah. animals, they had a, a, on the side here where they had animal feed and they would load it with this dolly. It's pretty cool. 
um, people come in all the time with history of their grandma bringing them in here or, or you know well that's what I was going to say about the one where I grew up is my grandpa would give me a dollar and we'd go yeah. in with a little brown bag and just fill up the candy for yeah. bucks yeah. Yeah. Just, can't do that no more no <laughs> no we try to keep the nostalgia going. So some of your original uh, Hay Lake visitors? So or? these are, these are um, people that, that used to be, you know, they used to come here all the time. This right here is our crew. We've had some come and some go since this, but this was on our 50 year anniversary um, last year. Um, and then like Sherry and Sue, they've been here for over 10 years. Oh, wow. We've been here for over 10 years. So, yeah. Um, these shoes, um, they they did apparel out of upstairs, uh, workwear, shoes, mm -hmm. boots, and so the last time my husband went up there to, to check it out, he came down with these, and um, there's another uh, there's group of boots back there right. that he pulled down. That's amazing, isn't it? It's cool. Well, yeah, it is. Yes, it's for the back. And they was found upstairs. It's amazing that they're still around, you know. Yeah, it's very cool. Unbelievable. Here's a store. Um, the gas pumps too might be something you want to look at. They work. Um, they're fully functioning gas pumps with underground storage tanks, all four of them. The the diesel and kerosene are above ground storage, but they, they work. They work. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting towards the end of them having parts for them, but they work yeah. right now. <laughs> it almost looks like the Nestle Quick Bunny. Yeah. I bet it is, actually. The old She got us a postcard. And Caroline keeps stacking stuff in her car. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a pretty cool country store. Back here with Kathy. She is making ribeyes for tomorrow. Ribeyes for tomorrow. Put on the smoker. She said they're gonna go on the smoker, and she's cutting them by hand. Beautiful ribeyes. Oh yeah, beautiful. How long you been here? I've been here about two years. Two years. And you're from this area? Yes, I'm from Rodeo. All right. I'm a web, so I'm. From right up the road. Right up the road. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I know they can go store us, so we gotta keep it. Oh yeah. Keep it going. Yeah, you don't see too many of them anymore. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of people that rely on this little store. Oh yeah, because it sets out here. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, middle of nowhere. There were some old gas pumps, like 80s maybe. 1980s? Yeah. You were surprised people come in and came because they worked. <laughs> and, and there's people that actually come in and ask us to pump because mm -hmm. Nothing digital about them.
here at Startup. Yeah. And it doesn't talk to the inside. It doesn't stop automatically. So it's, you got to stop it yourself. you got to stop it. We are full service. So we come out, pump people's gas for them, you know. Oh, that's awesome. Well, they're from the 80s. I think I remember seeing these. Like I'm not the, sure how old they are. That's a good question. Um, 70s, 80s. Yeah, but people don't know how to use them, you know. Um, I didn't know <laughs> yeah. how to use them when I first moved down here either. Oh, yeah, they're tricky. Yeah, yeah. We have people go over all the time. Going <laughs> <laughs> over on their guns. But, yeah, they're cool. We're going to keep these as long as we possibly can. Everybody asked if we put in, you know, the card reader 24 hours. Mm. I like these. I yeah, keep, keep it them. original. Yeah, yeah. We refurbished this little sign. Um, it was all uh, wore out. And then the lights, they do work. We have to fix them. They, they have some light bulbs that are out. But, um, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, you don't see, you don't see these anymore. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. 